Same-sex marriages have begun in Missouri and show no signs of slowing down. The first couple in Jackson County tied the knot this afternoon at the downtown courthouse. As KMBC 9's Michael Mahoney joins us to report, it happened just hours after the latest court ruling. Michael. Now, this landmark wedding uh, happened almost by accident. John Kenny Rodericks and his partner Rob Gann came down here thinking that they could get a marriage license because of the things that they'd seen happening in St. Louis. They didn't realize it only applied to St. Louis. But then things started to change. I pronounce you husband and husband. You may kiss your husband. Now's the time to clap. <laughs> <laughs> Rodericks and Gann became the first same sex couple to be legally married in Jackson County, Missouri. Earlier today, a federal judge here ruled the state's constitutional ban on same-sex marriages violates the due process clause of the 14th Amendment. Just as Missouri citizens cannot abridge the First Amendment by amending the Missouri Constitution, he wrote, they cannot abridge the 14th Amendment. Equal civil rights. Rodericks thinks the change is very important. Not just for, not just for GLBT cu uh, couples, but I think for everyone. I think marriage will become more valuable to everybody who's, who's married. Just before they actually got the marriage license, Rodericks and Gann were told a judge could also marry them right there at the courthouse right then. Yeah, I was expecting just a private, simple day, and it's turned into um, more uh, publicity than I really expected to happen. Right, which is okay because we, we don't have a wedding photographer, so right. it must so have been covered. <laughs> Covered by about every news organization in town after a federal judge declares that the Missouri constitutional ban against same-sex marriages is unconstitutional and the first same-sex marriage is performed here at the Jackson County Courthouse this afternoon. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News. Missouri Attorney General Chris Coster says he'll appeal this ruling. Since there are federal rulings now both for and against same-sex marriages, the matter seems certain to be heading to the U.S. Supreme Court.